T-Systems training team. Today's short video is to explain the new electronic process of viewing results for radiology tests. What is the reason for this? By removing paper reports, this means there will only ever be a single copy of each report. This removes the possibility of you or other clinicians involved in the care of your patients viewing multiple versions of the same report through different media and having to reconcile the history of any action already taken. So, how do you view radiology results for patients under your care? All results for patients under your care will still be filed under the RA number in the report section of Physician Care Manager within the Meditech system. However, results that are now urgent or critical, you will only be able to see these when you log on to Meditech in the My Notices section. You may also be required to build cover for other clinicians for this to work. If you are unsure on how to do this, head back to our video section and select Meditech Build Cover. Once you have your cover set up, you will be able to see the results for patients that are under your care along with those under the care of the clinician or clinicians you have previously built cover for. For the purpose of this video, we are focusing on inpatient cover within Physician Care Manager. This is accessed via the My Notices screen. Once you're in your My Notices screen, this, you will get taken to this screen as soon as you log on to Meditech. Alternatively, if you are already in the system, clicking onto My Notices over on the right hand side will take you to the screen which is now visible on the video. The next thing that you need to do is click onto Inpatient Cover. You will then be shown any results or messages that you have. Clicking onto the plus next to the results will show further details for the results. Radiology provide three levels of priority for radiology results. Priority one, which is critical, these will be shown in red. These reports require immediate action. Radiology policy is to ensure the appropriate clinician is contacted directly by the radiology team to flag occurrences explicitly. This process will not change. Priority number two, urgent. These will be shown in yellow text. Reports that are likely to require appropriate action, some of which will advise action within 24 hours. And priority three, which are routine. Routine reports will no longer be shown in this section, but can be accessed via the, re via the report section for your patient. So now that we are looking at your inpatient cover, next thing that you need to do is click onto the patient name of the result that you wish to see. This will load up the results acknowledgement screen. You will then see the type of test that has been carried out on the patient along with the ordering clinician and the date of the test. You will see that there is a text box down at the bottom letting you know why it is now viewable for you to action along with any other information um, from the clinician or radiographer. To view the report, click onto the clipboard in the report column after you have viewed the report, click onto the X to return to the Acknowledge Report screen. On the Acknowledge Report screen, you are now required to record your intended action. Please bear in mind that this functionality merely logs an intention to carry out an action. It does not do the action on your behalf. Click onto the action drop down list or press F9 on your keyboard to see the list of actions available. As you can see there's quite a few within the list. Using your scroll bar or your up and down cursor keys will take you through them. Next thing that you need to do is select what action you require needs, you feel needs to be taken. Again, please remember this does not do the action for you merely marks on the system that this is the intended action you wish to follow. Once you have selected your action, all that you then need to do is click onto the Acknowledge button. And repeat this process for however many results you need to view and action. Clicking onto the next button will take you onto the next patient within your list. Alternatively, clicking onto Notice List 
will take you back to your My Notices section. And that's it. If you need any further guidance, please contact a member of the IT Systems Training Team. Details are on your screen now. Thank you.